HSC Chemistry Tutorials HSC SIM module and this tutorial is showing how to draw flow sheet in HSC SIM. Uh, we first draw units, we, then we add streams, third step is to check the connections and finally we save it to be used later for mass balancing or simulations. So we start HSC SIM and we are using version 7.19. Uh, we select here the mode, it's not very important because the mode is the same for um, uh, different, uh, the drawing is the same in each of the modules, but uh, uh, normally this is the way that we start so that we select now this experimental mode because we are for drawing a, uh, s a flow sheet for to mass balance. So first we need to draw the units and here we get a unit tab on the right hand side which shows a number of different kind of uh, units and uh, quite uh, normally after installation of HSC this shows a one level uh, uh, higher than what I'm now showing so I'm just showing here that how to change the level so here in the small options button press it and and then select browse and by default it shows actually this units uh, level so you would see things like this very limited and you couldn't you if changing this one then you don't see anything so you should change this level browse to a one level deeper for example here clicking ferro and OK so now we can navigate between different unit operations and having a big number of uh, different kind of icons available. Basically these are just pictures so they don't carry any information of the units as such. Uh, but now we start to draw the flow sheet. So let's take a simple minerals processing example where we have a, a grinding, a classification and then there's a flotation and thickener. So first of all we go to grinding and it has a number of different kind of grinding mills so I'm selecting here they are organized by the uh, by the name and moving mouse you can see the name of the unit so I'm check, uh, selecting this sack mill and clicking and dragging and releasing uh, I seem to have an option uh, which automatically draws the uh, streams but this is not normally on so what I'm gonna do is that I'm also turning this off so that we don't see the streams uh, uh, and we can find that uh, auto draw default streams here I turn it off because that's the normal case so now they shouldn't be appearing automatically so I'm selecting the next uh, unit operation which is uh, classification and I can find in mineral others now certain kind of units for that and I select cyclone this one and the options are you can also drag and drop and then resize it here so this is my cyclone and uh, it shows now the uh, different uh, the name of the unit then I'm selecting flotation here flotation group and selecting one of these kind of cells and then finally thickeners a thickener here so it's a very simple circuit now I have my units there I go one by one and rename them so I'm clicking the sack mill B and I'm just going here in name ID I'm this is now how, how I'm normally do it I'm painting it all over and then writing sack and uh, ending with enter cyclone name is okay tank cell simple I just call it flotation and then superflow so once again painting it f uh, fully over and then say uh, typing tails thick oh thick come on thick can uh, finally all right I'll 
I'll just remove this stream so that we get these streams also from we, we don't have any streams so I can now change the position of my units and uh, now I'm ready to draw the streams so I'm this is the uh, stream drawing tool so activate it by clicking and then you need to s click first point click the second and the others node points and finally get it uh, into a unit and double click it then it's linked so if you leave it outside the unit then it's normally not connected so I'm starting here click second click and then finally ending here into mill double click so here the snap to grid tool is on therefore I will the the stream uh, nodes will be connected to the nearest uh, node mill discharge then cyclone overflow concentrate tailing and now I'm gonna put the thickener here and space when I'm pressing space so it turns now here uh, edit points and then draw select to so edit points I can drag the stream also drag from the midpoints to get some uh, notes so for example like this and I'm ending with enter uh, sorry space or oh, they are clicking select to so space I'm back here and then I move my tail stick and here and what is missing anymore is the cyclone underflow and now I'm showing one trick I'm getting it joined here and with HSC you can't basically join the streams so now it shows for this stream that actually the source is cyclone that's right but the destination is question mark which uh, indicates that it actually goes outside the process and this you can visualize by pressing this overlay nodes button so color coding tells blue incoming uh, feed stream for the process black streams are from unit to another and red uh, color here in the streams uh, indicates or shows that it actually goes outside the process so now we need to change for this uh, cyclone underflow so that actually even it's drawn to be joined the stream number one we can say he select here that the destination is the sac so basically uh, in flow sheet it shows that these three, two streams join but in the actual uh, HSC simulations or mass balancing they are joining only here in the mill uh, two more streams missing thickener overflow and thickener underflow so now pressing this overlay node I'm checking color coding seems to be right three output streams one input, input stream and I'm now what is still to be done is to change the name of the streams so the same procedure as with the units so just to type it uh, here in the name ID so I'm using this is Overflow, concentrate, tailing, thickener, underflow, and thickener overflows. 
some of the special characters are not available when you use these names and now I'm gonna save this as a new process and that's very important with HC please save always the process into a new uh, oops new folder so I'm going one level up and in this uh, folder of demo I create a new folder which is called uh, simple process and then I need to also give name for the flow uh, sheet it can be the same as as in the uh, in the as in the folder but now I'm calling this a copper flotation that's now done and uh, just checking that stream connections are right so now we are ready to use this drawing in other parts of uh, HSC sim which are uh, simulation and mass balancing